I had an interesting weekend. I was pretty sick and uh, almost didn't run the half marathon that I had scheduled, but decided, hey, worst comes to worst, I have a bad race, the world will keep spinning. So I jumped in the car and headed that way. When all was said and done and I crossed the finish line, I ended up with a personal best of over 15 seconds a mile in a race that I almost walked away from because I didn't think I would be at my best. And when I regained composure, settled in a little bit, I had to wonder how many times almost has gotten in my way. How many times a simple decision to stop, to not go or wait for later has changed the outcome of my life? How many times has it changed the world? How many potential bestsellers were almost started? How many potential greats almost stuck with it? How many friendships almost remained intact? Think about how fickle our world is, how these simple decisions to start, to go, to not drop the pen or hit the snooze button can change everything. And after that race, I told myself that I will never get in my own way again. I will never sell myself short. I will do everything in my power to be on the right side of almost. The worst outcome is so much better than wondering. You know, and there are moments that we question if it's worth it, if it matters, if there really will be payout. And being pragmatic, you know, maybe there will, maybe there won't. But the moments that we remember in life, the things that end up meaning the most to us, they don't come from almost jumping. They're born from the recognition that failure will not kill us. An opportunity hides behind mountains of almost. You know, you can do what you've always done or you can go further. You can keep your stories and ideals locked away in your head or you can share them with the world. You can worry about the collapse or you can build. Change the architecture of humanity, contribute something extraordinary, not be a victim of almost, but go in with the intent of leaving a mark, of holding your ground. You know, there are no certainties in life, that's for sure. But I can promise if you never leave, my friend, you will never arrive. And with so many potential destinations out there, who wants that? Who wants to pay the cost of admission and not see the show? Be the person 30 years from now, talking, joking with your friends, family, and, and teammates about how you almost didn't go. You almost said no. You almost let your insecurity and doubt get the best of you. But then you took a step back and you remembered what matters.